question of Venn diagrams. When we see the set notation, then the question, the form, a couple of formulas we need to know, right? Okay, now then, every question, there's no condition at all on using these, these two equations. These two equations can be used for all questions, okay? Then, third one down here, independent. You can only use this equation if you're told that A and B are independent. And the fourth one, again, you can only use this condition that the intersection is zero, provided it tells you in the question that A and B are mutually exclusive. Okay, so the, the first two I can use in all questions. Okay, now question one. So A and B are two events such as the probability of A is 0.4, probability of B is 0.5, and the probability of A given B is 0.4. And then you ask me to find certain certain values. Now then what we what we know here, I say, I can use, I, there's nothing there about independent, nothing about mutual exclusive, so I, I, I can only use these two equations here. Now what I'm given, because I'm given this probability of A given B, then I'm going to use this second equation here to start off with. Okay, that will allow me to find the intersection. So, using the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A intersection B over probability of what I'm given which is B, and if I substitute in, the left-hand side is 0 0.4. A intersection B, I don't know that, and the probability of B I know is 0 0.5. So if I multiply the 0.4 by the 0.5, I find the intersection. So 0 0.4 times 0 0.5 is A intersection B. I'll calculate that, that gives me 0 0.2 is equal to a intersection B. Now then, I got A, I got B, I got A intersection B, so I'm able now to complete the Venn diagram for this question. So, I'll, And that helps me understand all the regions, so I'll do that first. Circle A. Circle B. And then rectangle which contains all the possible probability which would be everything inside that rectangle has to add up to one so that's the universal set is one this circle a circle b so i've just calculated the intersection to be 0 0.2 so that value is 0 0.2 probability of a is 0 0.4 so everything in that circle a is 0 0.4 there's two parts to it I've used a 0.2, so the other part must also be 0.2, so they combine to make 0.4. For B, probably B, the circle B has to add up to 0.5. I've used 0.2, so this part must be 0.3, so these two combine to give you 0.5. Okay, the whole rectangle has to add up to 1, so I've got 0.2 and 0.2 is 0.4, and 0.3 is 0.7, so the part outside must be 0 0.3. Okay, let's answer the questions then. Part A asks me for the probability of B given A. That's the probability of B intersection A over the probability of A. B intersection A is the same as A intersection B. It's 0 0.2 divided by the probability of A, which is 0 0.4. And 0 0.2 divided by 0.4 is 0.5. Part B, probability of A dashed intersection B dashed. Then I use my Venn diagram. This means I'm looking for the common values which are outside of A and outside of B. So outside of A, if I cover up the A, I'm seeing 0.3 and 0.3. If I cover up the B, I'm seeing the point 0.2 and the point 0.3, so I've seen this point 0.3 twice, so that's the intersection. So A dashed in section B dashed, there's no point 0.3, this point 0.3 here that's outside. Part C, probability of A dashed intersection B. 
that means I'm looking for the values which are outside of B and they're in sorry outside of A and they're inside B. So outside of A are those two values. B are those two values. So the value that I've, I've seen twice is it's 0.3 here. 